The Media Pipe Face Landmarker task lets you detect face landmarks and facial expressions in images and videos. You can use this task to identify human facial expressions, apply facial filters and effects, and create virtual avatars. There are APIs available for Android, Python, iOS, and the web, with more coming soon. To get started using the Face Landmark Detection task for the web, first take a look at available Face Landmark Detection models to learn about their capabilities. You can see this list in the documentation, linked in the description. And this list might change over time, so definitely check the docs for the latest. The Face Landmarker uses a series of models to predict face landmarks. Three models are packaged together into a downloadable model bundle. A face detection model, which detects the presence of faces with a few key facial landmarks. A face mesh model, which adds a complete mapping of the face. The model outputs an estimate of 478 three-dimensional face landmarks. And a blend shape prediction model, which receives output from the face mesh model to predict 52 blend shape scores which are coefficients representing different facial expressions. And now that you know a bit about the models that make up the face landmarker task, install the task's vision package. You can download the package using NPM and use a JavaScript compilation tool like Webpack, or you can import the package using a CDN. Note that under the hood, MediaPipe for the web uses WebAssembly, or WASM, a binary instruction format for a stack-based VM. You don't need to be an expert on the ins and outs of WASM to use MediaPipe solutions for the web. In simplest terms, WASM allows non-web-based code to run on the web. For the best user experience, you don't want to bundle your model or WASM binary into your website. Instead, you will store them server-side and provide links when initializing your face landmarker. Let's explore the code for this. Here, we have a function, create face landmarker. First, we configure our WASM binary loading using the file set resolver for vision tasks method. Then we create the face landmarker using the face landmarker create from options method, passing the file set resolver you just created and the model. You can also provide optional parameters. I show them all here in this example, even though they're mostly the default values, just to give you an idea of how they look. Running mode for inference is either image or video. Images is the default value. Num faces is the maximum number of faces for landmark detection. It's an integer greater than one with a default value of one. Min face detection confidence is the minimum confidence score for the face detection to be considered successful. It's a float value between zero and one with a default of 0 0.5. Min face presence confidence is the minimum confidence score of face presence in the face landmark detection. It's also a float value between 0 and 1, with a default value of 0 0.5. Min tracking confidence is the minimum confidence score for face tracking to be considered successful. This score is also a float between 0 and 1. And this value can affect the latency in that the lower the min tracking confidence, the higher the chance that we can skip the more time-consuming face detection. Output blend shapes is a Boolean indicating whether face landmarker outputs face blend shapes. Face blend shapes are used for rendering the 3D face model. Its default value is false. Output facial transformation matrixes is a Boolean indicating whether face landmarker outputs the facial transformation matrix. Face landmarker uses the matrix to transform the face landmarks from a canonical face model to the detected face, so users can apply effects on the detected landmarks. It has a default value of false. To detect facial landmarks on a face in an image, use the face landmarker detect method, passing the image source. This function is synchronous, which is good to keep in mind when designing your UI. The source can be an HTML canvas element, HTML video element, HTML image element, image data, or image bitmap. The face landmarker returns a result object for each detection run. The result object contains a face mesh for each detected face with coordinates for each face landmark. Optionally, the result object can also contain blend shapes, which denote facial expressions and a facial transformation matrix to apply face effects on the detected landmarks. You can access these detection results using facelandmarkerresult.facelandmarks.
The Tasks Vision package has a built-in helper function for drawing face landmarks on a Canvas element. First, create an instance of the Drawing Utils class. Then iterate through the face landmarks and call the drawingutils.drawConnectors method, passing the landmarks, the area that you want to draw, like face landmarker, face landmarks right eye, and the color of the connections. You can see all available attributes for which you can draw connectors in the API documentation. To detect face landmarks in frames of a video, get the current time using performance.now. Then get the face landmark detection result using the face landmarker detect for video method, passing your video element and the current time. The face landmarker results will work the same way for videos as they do for images. And that's it. With this code, you can get started with face landmark detection in your own web app. You can check out a complete code example on CodePen and view all available solutions on the MediaPipe website. Or get more hands-on with solutions in MediaPipe Studio. All these great resources are linked in this video. Now that you have what you need to get started, I want to know what's next for you. Tell me what you're working on. Tell me what you learned. Tell me what you still want to know. Drop a comment here on YouTube or on LinkedIn. I can't wait to see what you build.